Yeah, g'day. So in this video, I'm going to make a burnout kiln. I've done, in another video, there'll be, um, it'll be of doing some ceramic shell casting. And as part of that process, I need a burnout kiln or some sort of kiln that I can use for heating up molds before I pour them in. I could probably double it as that as well. So here we go. This is what I'm going to do. I've got this um, rubbish tin. It's a metal rubbish tin. Um, this lid comes off quite easily. It's got a good catch here. Um, you know I bought it from the Home Depot store. No we don't have Home Depot in New Zealand. But um, yeah. Hello. So, in here, um, down the bottom, I'm going to put some plaster, put a mixture of plaster and sand, casting plaster and sand. Um, just before it goes, when it's still green and not gone off, I'm going to make it into like a funnel shape. Um, then I'll cut a hole in the middle, so then when I'm burning out, pieces the wax can go down the hole and then I can capture it outside the thing rather than creating a lot of smoke um, and round the inside I've got some of this ceramic wool I've got a couple of rolls of this and then to hold it against the wall I've got this wire which um, is heat resistant whatever sort of wire it is I don't know uh, kiln wire uh, yeah, so I can kind of like pass that around and then drill some holes and put a couple of loops through, blah, 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 blah. you'll see. Um, and then uh, about down here sort of thing, um, I'll cut a hole where I can put my gas burner in there. Um, yeah, so it can come in, create a vortex or whatever. And then the top I'll just cover with the ceramic fiber um, and cut a hole for like a chimney sort of thing and then yeah that'll be it it means that I don't have a door so everything's got to come in and out from the top um, so I'll have to make little hooks or something to hold on to it I don't know but simple way of doing it and then maybe on a bit of a stand so I can get the wax out. I'm not sure about that. Um, but we'll see how we go. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is glue down this little cup in the middle. Um, and that will give me, you know, the drain hole. So then I can make a plug. I'll just pour some plaster in in another cup and then it'll make a plug so that's a bloody marvelous okay i've got this is casting plaster it's like plaster paris i believe same sort of stuff and this is a bag of gardening sand it's quite coarse which is good to give it a bit of binding which is what we're using it for so just it's a half and half plaster sand and then just water to mix So that's the um, plaster, I don't know if you can see it, but I just got in here with a straight edge and scraped around and made, made it so it falls into the middle. So when the wax falls out, um, drips out of the moulds, then it can go down this hole and then might be able to catch it. Um, so that's gone off pretty hard now. Doesn't take long, it's pretty good stuff. So now um, I get the ceramic cloth or whatever it's called and um, put it around, around the whole inside here. OK, 
Nico, my uh, camera battery ran out. So anyway, this is what I did while my phone was charging. Um, I've got some curl wire that is around here holding it out and I've just passed some little loops of wire around it, you know, and back out here and then just bend it over. Done that all the way around. Um, that should be good. I'll probably do it. It's pretty good, but I may leave it and see what happens. I might just get some plaster and just go around the bottom just to make sure nothing gets out there. You know, the heat doesn't get out through there. Um, <clears throat> so next, next bit, while I'm working with this stuff, which is you need to put on your respirator if you're working with this sort of thing. But uh, yeah, gonna fill in the lid now. A hole in the middle for the chimney. Crack on.
that's it. That's the base all done. Um, so that's the tube for the wax to come out. And then I can just um, stick me pot underneath, uh, catch the wax. And then uh, this bit here, what I did is I just put those bits around by there so I can pop it on there and then clamp it there and then the burner can clamp onto here. And I just did that so I can take that off and then this thing's not so hard to store on a shelf without things sticking out, you know, sort of thing. Yeah, so just take it outside now, take it, give it a paint job, and then I reckon we're ready to go. Fire it up, see what happens. So here we are outside with the thing all rigged up. Um, it's a beautiful day, so good shadows today. Um, so here we have it. It's with the we got the mount there to hold on to the burner it goes off to my bottle and then the main thing sitting on the frame um, we'll put a pot under there when we put something in it but I'm just gonna fire it up now just to see how it goes see the uh, inlet there it's set a bit of an angle so that could be good set up a bit of a vortex Type situation. So let's go right ahead and put the lid on. And then uh, fire it up, see what happens. Okay, so it really worked well. Um, there's just some scorching around the top, around where the two bits of the ceramic um, wool met, so to speak. So a bit of leakage there maybe, but generally it worked really well. Um, so that's it for this one. Uh, don't forget, there's some more coming soon, I hope. Um, please subscribe if you like this sort of thing and I will see you next time.